a group of people that had been there from the beginning of the game started batting away bees. By the time they got to the bottom of the stands, the stands were emptying, people were covered, and they just wouldn't come off. Shortly after 11 o'clock on Friday morning, the St. George Fire Department and Gold Cross Ambulance were dispatched to the Elks Field ballpark for reports of swarming bees. Initial units that arrived found several patients being attacked by bees. Um, in all, we had uh, several patients, seven patients that were stung, uh, that were treated and released on scene, and one patient was transported by Gold Cross to uh, the hospital. Debbie Francis, who was sitting in the bleachers at the time, was stung on the face several times. A nice gentleman came up once I got to the dirt here and just kind of nicely plucked all the stingers out. Um, they were covered on my jeans. I looked down at my pants when I was trying to brush them out of my hair. And then the women with longer hair, it was very frightening because they would get tangled up in their hair. They'd still hear them in there, so we were trying to comb them out. It's very scary. A bunch of the bees just started attacking one person after another, and you're sitting there going, this isn't real. And then they just came, and they're all in your hair and buzzing, and you're smacking your face and trying to run away as kids are crying. And Yeah, it was awful. And all of a sudden, they just swarmed everywhere, and people just running everywhere. I had 40 or 50 on me, back under my arm, and... Oh, I see it. Everywhere, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable. The bees were housed inside a crack next to a pole located next to the bleachers. Once the bees felt threatened, they attacked. The fire department sprayed down a Class A foam to suffocate the bees. Cooper said while they typically don't like to kill them, in severe cases as this, they have no choice. It's hard to tell the difference between, um, say, like a regular honeybee and an Africanized bee, but usually when they're very aggressive, like an instance like this, uh, typically they're going to be Africanized, or at least they're mixed in with that. Um, but they were very aggressive um, bees. Like I said, when we arrived on scene, there was one male patient that probably had two to three hundred stings, and he had uh, several dozen bees on him at that time. Yeah, my ex-father-in-law, Jay Francis, he and Millie Francis were in the parking lot. They wanted to get in their car, but their concept was right. Let's not go in the car if we're covered with them, because then they'll just be in the closed environment. So they were near their car and a group of us went over to try and help them bat them off and as soon as we got close that we were just attacked ourselves. It's a very, very frightening but creepy incident. The kids were running, the moms were panicking because they couldn't find their little kids who were just kind of scattered. The closer we got away from the stands and out here to the dirt, the better off everything got, but we were still kind of beating them off each other and picking stingers off each other. Not a great event. <laughs> Other high school ball teams arriving on site to play in the tournament were told to access the south side of the ballpark to avoid the area. Police blocked off the back parking lot to the field and warned those in the area to stay clear. Fire officials say if you are in an area where bees are congregating, you should leave the area and don't do anything to agitate them. Uh, I know it's hard to do, but you don't necessarily want to swat them and make sudden movements, but sometimes they'll trigger them and they'll get even more aggressive. Cooper said the fire department purchased special beekeeper veils to handle these types of calls as the warmer weather tends to bring them together in their migration. Started out to be a beautiful day, beautiful ball game, and then just ended actually in terror. It was very, very, very frightening to be here for that. You couldn't help the people you wanted to help because then you got attacked. It was just scary. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, KCSG News.